Welcome back to the Quest for Nine Report. I'm Connor Hines. Well, the Indiana Hoosiers picked up yet another huge conference victory tonight here in Bloomington. Five goals coming from three different goal scorers in a big 5-1 win over the Ohio State Buckeyes. And really from out of the gate tonight, Indiana's consistent level of intensity, pressure, and urgency on the pitch tonight. It was just too much for Ohio State to handle. The Hoosiers are continuing to pick up steam when it matters most, and they're continuing to inch closer and closer towards that Big Ten regular season title. I think it was obviously crucial. I think we're a lot more focused on finishing our chances right now, and obviously the Big Ten's closing, so getting three points tonight was huge in, in trying to secure the, the title. We were decisive, we were aggressive, we defended really well, didn't give them much of anything. And even in that segment where we weren't playing, I didn't think at our best tonight, we still were, we were still pretty good. Um, so again, um, Ohio State's a much improved team, but I thought we handled them really well. Now, Indiana's high-powered offensive attack just continued tonight here in Bloomington. The Hoosiers now having scored 13 goals in their past three games. And that's important for an Indiana team like this one because ever since that 3-0 road loss at Maryland, Todd Yeagley said a switch has been flipped with this Indiana group. And with all the parity in college soccer this year and the youth on this Indiana team, the Hoosiers are continuing to play their best soccer when it matters most. You know, you, you learn a lot when you lose. You want to be feeling good. Um, you want to be a bit edgy. You want everyone to have a better idea of their roles. Um, I think you can kind of check a lot of those boxes. Like we're in a pretty good place. We we have been playing better towards the end of the season, um, and that that's, that has to do with many things. Um, it was a new team coming together, a lot of incoming freshmen. So uh, I, I I feel like the team has. Uh, has developed well around each other. Um, we're all comfortable with each other. We know how each other play, their, our tendencies with them. So uh, everything is clicking, um, and which is a, it's a good sign. Time now for our player spotlight here tonight on the Quest for Nine Report, and it's the freshman Victor Bezerra who put up the first two goals of the night for Indiana, as well as an assist. He continued to earn himself shots and opportunities throughout the match tonight, and his precision and accuracy out on the pitch are making him look like anything but a freshman. He's really been instrumental ever since that Maryland loss and just helping to lead this Indiana turnaround, and he's continuing to impress Todd Yeagley and the rest of this Indiana staff. Vic's just one of the better strikers of the ball that we have on our team. So when you watch us train and you see us do finishing activities of any kind, um, you can see a little bit with the one that the goalie saved and also all the one off the bar in the second half, it, the ball just pops off his foot. And that's just a great technical base that he has. And he loves to score. Um, and you love that. Did really well these minutes. He's fighting harder. He's winning more balls. He's holding the ball up for us better. Um, he's winning some head balls, some areas of his game that he wasn't as consistent with um, the first third of the season. I'm really happy he's got the game ball tonight, well deserved by our team. So with just one match left to play in 2019, the Hoosiers do in fact control their own destiny, headed on the road to East Lansing this Sunday, where they will face off against the Spartans. Should they win that one, they will win the regular season Big Ten title outright. For the Quest for Nine Report, I'm Connor Hines. We'll talk to you guys then.